Hello again. This is the Water Man. Um, special toolbox number 60. The Love Chapter number 36. Audio recording number 378. <coughs> Examination table number 40. Okay, and I'll be uh, continuing uh, in uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30 and 31. Okay, I'll start out reading those verses from the King James Version. I haven't forgot about the love chapter. This is still an offshoot of it, but we'll return to that, okay? I'm just trying to get these two verses in here, okay? <clears throat> now, verse 30 says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. Verse 31 says, But those but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Okay? We're back in uh, verse 30. Okay? And we covered down through the, the uh, even the use, and that says, infants up to like a young kid up to adolescence okay they're not in the adolescence yet now we're down to uh, <clears throat> and the young men okay the word from that i started that last time is uh num whoops hang on i've got the thing here on the wrong i touched it accidentally okay it's the number 970 uh B A H U R. It's this word. Strong's H nine seventy. Bahor. 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 They translate that in the King James as uh, "and the young men." Okay, and uh, it's a masculine noun. It's a particle passive of nine seventy seven. Okay, we'll get there in a little bit. The online. Biblical usage says a young man. The Strong's says selective or selected a youth collective, collectively or the youth. Inside of you, these these immature thought processes all the way from a nepios, uh, a breathos and nepios up to a little baby all the way at starting when it can barely, can't even do nothing but make messes and stuff and it's just cute and they love to sing but it doesn't really have any real responsibility, okay? It's just uh, just a baby, okay? I'm born a child, a zero to a two-year-old, okay? Brephos and Nepios, okay? Simple-minded, immature, non-speaking baby, child of God, okay? Many of those leaders, that's Nepios, they're babies. And at best, some leaders, it's boy leaders, it's from there up to the adolescence. But they don't, not, not very few going all the way, taking those thought processes, going all the way through the eye of the needle, back resting EN and SYN, God. And, and bring those in and, and coming into the right mindedness of God, to this love beyond words. That God has for us. Not not the stuff that he's going to throw you in a hell forever and ever and all this stuff. Okay? Making God out to be a monster. Not listening to this up and down stuff. They're in there. Taking these thought processes all the way in there. And as it does it more and more and more, these things come in faster and faster. Because <coughs> the power of God is doing this. It's not by their might or their power. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord. They're hanging on. See, it's just like my children hear my voice and the voice of another they will not listen to. They ain't going to turn back and go back to, oh, I'm missing something in our natural stuff. Or all these circumstances are really affecting me and preventing me from joining God in this love beyond words. In my thinking processes, every little area. Excuses, excuses. 
I gotta help God because he's way off the mark here. Ooh. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Shooting yourself in the foot. Right? So to speak, you're in your lifestyle, you're, exist you're not existing, you're disagreeing with God. Whether it looks good to you or bad to you, it's still you're disagreeing with God. Because the only way is to agree in hot pursuit, doing about face or repentance in the way you think, and head back to God in hot pursuit. And then you're going through this eye of the needle, which is ba the whole baptism of the Holy Spirit, where all this pressures, the lips, this tribulations, fiery trials, this divine purification, this consuming fire and this refiner's fire is burning up. And you're agree, agree, agree. Yes, burn this up. That stuff's stupid. I don't want to think that way anymore. Help me. Change me, Father. Change my heart, oh Lord. Oh God, make it ever true. Make it ever new. Change my heart, oh God. May I be just like you in this love beyond words. See, you're coming back. You're returning. God's making his appearance in you little by little by little. Cutting out that old stuff and transforming it into the new. And burning it up and always in an upward manner. It's all the is telling you, he's showing you a picture what he's doing internally in stuff so small that you can't possibly see it. You can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell with your own ego in the way. You can't rely on that sucker. It's a liar. That stuff's a liar. See, make God true in all this bullcrap thinking a liar of your own humanistic thinking. You're all, all men, all this humanistic thinking. Anthropos. Yuck. It's ooh, yuck, oh, you. Ooh, yuck. Thinking. It can't go through the eye of the needle. What's that poop? Okay. Don't eat. Don't partake of that stuff. Okay. <coughs> now, we're down to here. That baby, that baby to a small kid thing, boy leader, boy, girl, child. Okay. Okay, now we're going up to, um, just a minute, let me get back here. Uh, okay, now that was all that boy, the baby to a boy. Uh, even the youth shall faint and be weary. Okay, they're going to tired of doing all this. Praying and, they're, and begging and stuff and not listening to God, not really. Not, just like Jesus said, if possible, let this cup pass from me but nevertheless not my will be done but your will be done father okay it's a pattern so go on beyond this baby stuff wah 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 and all this stuff and thinking your good works and your bad works is battle is yours no it's the battles of god just saying the battles gods but then you got you're doing it yourself, trying to do it, trying to be like a pilot, and God's sitting over here. He here, you sit back in the passenger seat here. You don't even sit over here to be a co-pilot. And I'll say you flew the plane, but I, I'm really doing it. Now, how about you sit back there and take a ride? Maybe come up here and watch. And get him right back into total agreement with him. God's got to do it all. Everything that he's doing, you agree. What is it? What did Jesus say? Uh, anything, well, if you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Whatever the Father says, whatever the Father's doing, I agree totally. Hands down. I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not upon my own understanding. This sign wave up and down stuff. And God will direct my path. It'll all be as seek ye first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his right thinking. God, I lo he loves you more than anything. Loves you more than words than words can even describe it. And uh not your love that you start out with. Yuck. Conditional. Okay. You gotta trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not upon your own understanding, and God will direct your path. 
he'll, uh, you know, seek you first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, all this other stuff, he'll just be taken care of for you. Be like the single eyedness of a dog. Be tightly locked to that thing right there, right where God's doing, right on this. God loves me beyond words. I don't really understand it all now, but I just do what I have to do, whatever God's tell me, and I'm focused. Focused a Daniel son, a focused child of God, right? I'm focused on that. God's prayer, as God's pressed, and, and these fire trials, and all this pressures, and thalipsis, all this, um, uh, binds, den stuff, all these, this Goliath thinking thing, threatening, and all this stuff, all this stuff patting you on the back. It's just a bunch of baloney. You'll be all right. It's attitude, whatever God, whatever you need. But all this other stuff just being burned up by the consuming fire of God and refined by the uh, refining spirit of God. It's melting it. Melting those impurities out of you. That's for you. It's not to you. See, if you say it's to you, you're thinking that way. You're associating... Your will is the will that carnal side of you. There's two in your earth, in your land. Okay, that fleshly thinking, to be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. The fullness of life and peace. And that peace right there, I think it's in Romans 8, chapter 8, probably verse 6, 7, I think. It might be right in that area. <coughs> <clears throat> that peace right there is to join God. To join God's right, righteousness. You're right. I agree. So be it. Let's do it. Let's cut this. Hiya! Cut that stuff out of there, God. Burn it up. You're in total agreement, emphatically, in hot pursuit. Okay? Now, let's talk about this. Um, And and the young men, okay. Number nine seventy. It's that Bohu. Bo. Why did I pronounce that? Strong's H nine seventy. Bahur. Bahur. Okay. Bahur. Okay. Let's look at this a little bit. I got notes here, and we're gonna break it down. Take my time with this. We'll get it right. Masculine noun. It's a passive particle. Particle. Of 977, it means youth, young man. It's selected a youth, or it's often collectively. And it can be collecting all these thought processes and bringing you into a more glorious, more heavier, dense element, a weighty character. And God's love beyond words. Back in and that's why and it's growing and growing as you stay existing, existing in God's, and you're double, 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 double. <laughs> if you don't, you get back out in the wilderness. You're not condemned, you're just kind of losing ground. Because if you keep doubling, man, that, that goes, wow. Go way beyond legion real quick. And a tour, you're falling in love with God. That's great. The other way, you're falling away from God. Oh, that's not good. Falling down in your own poop thinking. Okay? In uh, the BDB, in the son of a young man, uh, the choice, okay, chosen ones, in the, in the prime of manhood. So they got to be allowed, permitted by God. And these thought processes within you, each thought process, and each person has to be permitted to go on, but go on in past this each level beyond uh, Brephos to Pation, or Brephos to Nepios, zero to two year old, to from a two year old up to a to a adolescence like this. Uh, what was that word? Even the use fifty two eighty eight, okay, and that it'd be like a pation, okay, brephos, nepios, pation, technon, be like this this uh, uh young man, this 
from the adolescence going up through teenager and then going on into your 20s all the way up to 30. And then your weos, that mature son, that's what it says about Jesus. And then going from that all the way back, all the way in and S-Y-N, God, the Father, the High Priest. Coming back S-Y-N and E-N to uh, the Father, Father God, Yahweh. I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot in that, okay? Now, this BDB says, young man of choice or prime of their manhood, okay? And uh, collect collectively, a young man, young men, virgins, they don't, they haven't, uh, not talking just virgin in the natural, but in the spiritual, they had their thought processes haven't come to the full realization that it's in God, resting in God, love beyond words and this in union with god's love beyond words they st still see it as oh i gotta have a prayer chain or we gotta have a um a bunch of people to like petition with us here on this or as their bad thing oh we gotta pray to get out of this we gotta do it you can request but if but then you gotta listen to god Listen for that still small voice inside of you, all the way down to that plankly size. That's beyond your natural abilities. <clears throat> and a lot of times, it's not going to match up with what your other stuff is because you're surfing the waves of emotions, responding to all these circumstances, these pressures, these fire trials. Oh, we're going to die. What did Jesus say in, the, in that ship? And they woke him and said, oh, how long do I got to put up with you guys? You people. They come up there, ah, peace be still. He just shut it right up. That winds and waves. Threatening to bring you down in your mind. Okay? All right. Now, um... It, Brent, see... And that's up to the ones God permits to go on. So each stage of this, God's got to permit it. God's got to give the increase. You just agree, 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 agree emphatically in hot pursuit of God. Right? In each and every area of the thinking process. Because whatever you're coming back, whatever is coming all the way back, whatever order, whatever level of that great love that's your exceeding great reward back in the Father and in union with the Father, resting in Him and not resting in, oh, I got to do something. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to pray all this. I got to do this. No. Your prayer is your communication with God. When you're beg, 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 beg and not listening at all, you're shutting up those ears. You can ask that your prayers be made known to God. Let your request be made known to God. But if, but but whenever God answers, you got to be able to hear that. Is it you don't know all the way down taking this universe size and knowing this hair and then split bring that out to a whole universe, the observable universe, and then looking down the hair and then knowing inside that spirit to the level God does. Let this cup pass from me, but nevertheless, not my will be done. Your will be done. I trust you, Lord. I rest in you. I'm in union with what you say, not what any of the circumstances of life, these fire trials or whatever, whatever it looks like, this lion's den, these things are going to eat me up. This old big Goliath over there just threatening to turn me down. He's 10 foot tall and bulletproof. I mean, he's literally... He got all this stuff, and I just, what? God's, God's take care of you. He's your guard. He's your protection. Are you following in the hot pursuit of God? Or are you following, relying on your own, chickening out, being afraid? Or are you reverencing in honor, respect, admiration of God and and letting it be revealed. God is the great hero. Wow, he's my exceeding great reward. I don't have to be afraid of none of this stuff. God has not given me a spirit of fear or an attitude of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. 
God's got my back. I don't have to try to do it myself. I don't have to battle. God's battle. See, these are stages, okay? Now we're talking about this. And the young men is Bahor. Okay? Um, see, the, the, the virgins is being taken. Their thought process is being taken in all the way into in and that's why in God and his great love and reuniting little by little by little. No fear. No need to try to, to cry and scream and yell and all that stuff. This is God, but this is a process. You don't start way out here in the radio wave, way up there, and then all of a sudden, bam, you're right in there. You skip all the other. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't work like that. Okay? Even Jesus was in the belly of the earth for how, day, how many days before he resurrected? Three. Three ages. Like Pastor Pentecost Tabernacle experience. He, that tabernacle's a feast of ingathering. God's gathering in. He's showing you through this example, this pattern sign to show you. Jesus did it perfectly. He's the Messiah, the anointed Messiah. <laughs> okay, now. Um, there it says here they're they're uh, going into maturity stuff, but they're yet unmarried. Okay, these young warriors. Okay, it's a boy from boy to the adolescent man to the all the way up to a thirty year old. Okay, now um, okay, now we got this next word. Yeah, we probably can. Now it's put in there twice, back to back, and it's not even translated by the King James in the King James version. But it's at it's the number thirty seven eighty two, and it's spelled K A S A L. It's this word. Strong's H thirty seven eighty two. Kashal. Kashal. Okay. Now this word's put in there twice. Not even translated, but see, it's put in there twice to, like, put emphasis on it. Pay attention! And they don't even translate it. Do you think maybe you should look? <laughs> oh, I'll just look down to this little hair here. Ain't no need to... This is the God expanding that thing up and looking down at the sea. I don't need to pay attention to that. I know all I need to know about that. Oh, really? How well is that working for you? Not good at all. Okay. <laughs> now, this this word, 3782, is put in there twice. It's Kasal. I think it's how it says it. Strong's H, 3782. Kasal. Kashal, okay. okay, and it's on the online biblical usage, these ones in this, this young man thing, this teenager thing, it's saying it twice, Kashal, means to stumble, stagger around, to be feeble, to cause to uh, stumble. Bringing an injury or ruin to themselves. They're turning around. They like Lot's wife. They're going up there. I'll exist. I agree. I agree. I disagree. Over and over and over. over. Going around and around and around the mountain. Never able to go all the way through this eye of the needle. Yet, yeah, just like teenagers. Oh, they know it all. They don't want to listen to the parents. Teenagers and young adults. Oh, there it is in a big hurry. And there's such fly. What's this stuff you mean just walking and pacing yourself in God and being in God and resting in Him? We got to do something. We got to pray. We got to call everybody we know and get them to pray about this. Better think about that. It's okay, but then are you willing to accept 
Well, God's telling you when he exam opens that thing up and examines all it, because God knows all the way down, knows that seed. That seed is him inside of you. Bringing that out. Are you able to hear that? And whenever he brings that to where you can see, hear, taste, touch, or smell with the anointing of God in control, are you ready to just drop all this other bullcrap stuff and go on with what God says? Or are you after your petition because you got all this support of all this humanistic thinking or all this in you and maybe even other people? Take your own temperature. It's got that word in there. It's feeble. It's stumbling. It causes you to to stagger and go around to where you're getting hurt, like down in that cave with that big poop thinking, where there's all kinds of dangers. There's big rat traps, landmines, stalag stalactites, stalagmites. There's um the big pits. It's grave with both ends cut out and big stakes in the bottom of it. And it's black. It's growing increasingly black in that time of night, in a time of ignorance. You're ignorant of God's ways. You're turning to that, turning back to that stuff. Did I miss something? Here. And they've got a barking dog in you. And he hauling donkey and a parakeet going, bark, 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 I know the way, and it's got bandages on its eyes. You fall in, you hit on this landmine, boom, blow your foot off. Bam, over to this rat trap. Bam, got that thing on your arm or on your head. Bang, fall in the pit, big stake stuck up in you. And then you're like falling down deeper, deeper, deeper into a more dark time. Oh, I don't know. They become weary from all this labor. This is just too much for me. I just can't stand it. <laughs> not yet matured. Not They're not resting in God to handle this because God just handles it. It stuff just works out so easily. These fire tries, trials and all this stuff, pressure stuff, just seem to just kind of, you just go into, I don't know how I'm getting to it. Well, except for, I'm just seeking first the kingdom of God. He's bringing the glory to me. I'm agree, agree, agree with all I got. Loving God with everything I got. At whatever level it is, I'm loving him. I'm giving him everything I got. And I'm loving it and everybody else. I'm not trying to condemn no one. Expose that poop thinking in them. Yes. But I'm not condemning that Christ in them at all. I love it. Love them. I want to help. But it's got to be God that's the only thing that can do that. See? Change the way you think. Metanoia. Repent from that old poopy thinking. You don't partake in that tree of knowledge of good and evil. On the day that you do. That heated up time at Yom, in the day, heat of the day when God's purifying you, burning up that garbage, second purifying you, stay in that. Agree, 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 agree. Don't give in to, oh man, it's burning up stuff I really wanted to hang on to. I really wanted to hang on the way I think about that. See, even as young men that's chosen and been chosen several times, this young think this thinking process. These were still virgins. They didn't. They don't know what it's like to go all the way in to to rest in God, be in God's right mindedness, and resting in Him, and in a total agreement. They're still in the process of going through that eye of the needle, and it's getting narrow. It's not just a narrow place; it's a narrowing place. It's getting tighter and tighter, and more and more, just like this. Radio waves going all the way out there. It's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. More pressure going all the way out there to that gamma ray. Where the actually the frequency is the highest. But that amplitude being off the mark, off the wheel of God is right down. It's right in. It's E in and uh, it's e, e in resting in God and it's in union with God's right mind. They're a virgin to this. Okay. And see, this is saying 3782, 3782. Pay attention to this. King James, oh, I don't know how to translate this. Eh, hey, well, they don't need to know this. It's not important. It's insignificant. Just like your carnal mind. I said, oh, don't worry about that. We can see down to the size of hair. That's good enough. That's like, whoosh, whoosh. 
<laughs> blow that thing out there like that. All the way down there so you can see here, taste, touch, and smell with Christ in control. But you got to shut up all that dog. Barking off a dog. That carnal stuff inside of you to hear it. Okay? So he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit's saying. Okay? To the called out ones. That, that completes no, verse 30. We'll be on 31 here next. Okay? Well, there's more on this. <laughs> uh, this 47.82 over here. Stumble, stagger. I might be able to get that. Stumble, stagger, possibly uh inexperience okay they're they're not experienced in this they haven't went through that eyes noodle they haven't experienced the love of god to that level yet to be hot headed the easily angered in the arabic it's to be heavy or sluggish the hebrew lexicon to waver to teeter to stagger to teeter in the ankles or to waddle through one's life experiences okay Shaking in the knees like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy on that cartoon. <laughs> okay. All right. It's not the fear of God. It's the reverence of God. This is they're, they're going back to this fear. Okay. And this is two times in there. They didn't translate it. Hmm. Which way? Are you going to disagree with God and go, yeah, that was really insignificant? Or are you going to agree right back into God? This is significant. Pay attention. Okay. This was spiritual toolbox number 60. Thank you. I'll continue a little later. I'm running out of time. Bye-bye.